That was great. And welcome to another my vid reps. This time we have people trying their best. This is a CPL game. This was volunteered to me. I didn't sculpt it or skulk in the channels, even though I've been trying to do that to get hapless little fools to give me replays. This is not such a case. CPL is the Coach Pupil League, is where people try to learn this game that is sometimes older than they are, which is a sad reality. But nevertheless, a game that everyone knows, but a game nobody plays. But we're trying to change that. By we, I mean the people at CPL and I try to scalp replays off of them. Even though I'm part of CPL myself, um, old players are not to be always feared. As I ranked in the lowest tier of CPL, and with reason. Um, mostly because, of course, I um, don't have a lot of practice time with all the Tarkov I've been playing. Um, and other things. Regardless, these people are trying their best to learn this game, even though it is seemingly an impossible task. Because StarCraft has to... Hmm. StarCraft has to be approached as a sport. You cannot improve in months. You improve in years. And this is a very difficult thing to do, even though it's probably one of the better games. What are you doing, mate? Yes, of course. And then there are these people. Who, of course, take all the goodwill of the bright-eyed people like, I'm going to try and learn StarCraft and play the way the Korean pros do. No. Because you will get... Is it two? Yes, thank you for finally putting that down. You're gonna get two rack proxy racks. Um, and you don't even have a pool yet. So don't worry, he was never going to scout it anyway. So there is going to be a hatch on 12, slightly too late, but that's really neither here nor there. So, even though these people are playing and they understand, and this is the important thing, all of you fucking tryhards out there, all of you little rage kitties trying to get better, you're never going to be there. Because the first you have to find the fun, happiness in playing this game and losing a lot and not really worrying about the losses. Even though I myself am a complete competitive asshole who will rage for hours after getting four pulled, after trying to get a match for three days and then on Sunday finally they reply and you've been practicing and you're really nervous because there is somewhat of an image even though hardly anyone knows who I am anymore or have ever known who I am. There's there's a non-fame that I have in the NHFFA channel basically where I also get proxy raxed or... God damn it! Anyway! Ha ha ha! Drones! Uh, hmm. Drones are beating your barracks, uh, your bunker, whatever. I don't really care about Terran units that much. Regardless, there we are. This is a thing, they are attacking the hatchery now? Except, no, maybe not. Maybe another bar bunker is be going to be built and the marines are going to chase the completely idle drones that are, don't know what they're doing. Another hatchery is being built here as well, isn't that wonderful? Um, and there's a creep colony there. That my oh my god, there's more drones. Please don't send all the drones. It's really not much of a threat on this thing. They're gonna try and run back to the bunker, but there's more marines there. They're in the bunker now. The drones? No! No! Well, that's suicide by bunker, everyone. Don't do that. You just lost the game. Hatchery is going. The lings are there. The sunken colony as well. There's about four things here. Uh, well, that hatchery is going to be done at least, but... By the time it will... Lings... Targets... It doesn't matter, there is no micro. There was an attempt to... Again! These people are learning the game, everyone. We have to encourage them. They are doing fine, they are learning. This is a difficult game. And this is the result of their best efforts. And we have to encourage that. Is this even in range? It probably will be. There's only two in here. Okay, the lings are gonna leave. One of them... <laughs> wow. Needless violence. You don't even know where he is, do you? 
You legitimately don't know where he is. You're just going to assume. <gasps> well, at least he's gonna find the fucking SEV, right? Don't worry, the barracks is floating. One is going back. Again, conflicting messages here from the units. Nope, this is not it. It's not it. Is he going- Oh my god, was he actually going to do something with the SUV? Why does he move the SUV there randomly? Nope, that's not it. Alright, this barracks is gonna go for a landing here. That's going to be wonderful. Anyway, what semblance of an economy do you have? Um, not much. Actually, not much better than the Terran who hasn't had any sort of harassment. No, that's not true. He lost an SUV that was proxying. Indeed, there is a bunker here now. There is a gaping hole that's soon to be filled by a barracks. Oh my god, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? The lings are streaming in. The barracks is not gonna make it. Does he have anything in there? No. Well, two, it doesn't really matter and they're gonna just run by. Run by. Zergling run by. It doesn't really matter because that's not a ling tight wall anyway. Who saw that one coming? Raise your hand. Wow, okay. Um... Well, he... damaged SCVs. In that devastating blow, the Zerg economy has a chance to recover. Terran factory being built here. Um, alright. Because he has 300 gas, that's very well done. Um, so no link tightness here. And some overload. Oh, there's the. Ooh, we've got a spy. Meanwhile, we have more lings. Yes, because that's what we need. We don't need to. Oh, did, did you do a thing? Or did you just forget about the barracks floating him too high? At least you got some information. He's not going there yet. There's still chance. There's still a chance. He does, he's not really mining anything. So, again, with the lings. Um, the gas has not been mined. So, no speed. Don't worry about that. Uh, there's only the one. There's only the one. Where did, did... There were certainly more marines here, surely. I definitely thought there were more marines. Regardless. Oh yeah, the SUV oh, can actually pass through. They definitely saw that. Not producing anything from there. Just still floating the barracks to and fro. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So death is death awaits. There's a one single marine in the bunker, enough links to kill a Protoss and a tank on the way. Longer he waits, the more painful this will become. Zerga has caught up in drone count, has now surpassed Terran because get fucked. We don't oh my god, killed an SEV. Actually killed an SEV, worth it. Um, good. Siege tech is exactly what you need versus a, a Zerg that you have seen build the extractor! Who has not yet done- you have, are here! In his fucking base! He is only now going for lair in a Hydra den, so you build the tank first and LEFT <laughs> When you have actual visual confirmation that an entire army of Lings in front of your base and now you're going to PUSH! Ouch! Ah. Please, retreat! Retreat from the tank! Go! Yes, flee! An armored vehicle is no match. There's two tanks now. Game's over. Yeah, leave one as a message. Now there's suddenly an army that can deal with this shit. Oh no. Now there's three vultures, now you fuck off. Yeah, now you fuck- Cause, hey, most powerful fucking cost-effective unit in the fucking game is about to have mines. It's going to really fucking wreck your day. Uh, yeah, Sunken Colony is gonna help there. Oh god. Uh, trying to not- uh, Get an aneurysm here. Oh, hello. Why? Why is that even there? Oh yeah, the hatchery used to be there. Maybe we can uh, spire as well. Yeah, let, let's just get all the things. There's a bit of micro going on. I'm sure nothing actually died. 
No. Tank on damage a little bit. That Marine is actually going well. Just fucking everything. <laughs> a... <laughs> yeah. A 10 HP Marine. Let's do it. We need him. He's our anti-air, you see. Yep. Because, uh... Those Mutalisks are almost on the way. Oh. I expected better. Oh god, it's the slow fucking Hydras and the mines. Uh. That's fine. Zerg blood is cheap. That's what they're there for, folks. That spire is going to be the crux, isn't it? That spire is going to be the thing that prolongs the suffering even further. Because he's got shit in the bank and he actually has now, thankfully, to the selfless sacrifice of those slow fucking hydras. <sighs> he's, um... Why oh, those mines are actually gonna... Nope, 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 they're out of the range. That's fine. Oh, wait, there's a base here? There's another lair here. What the fuck is go... Why is there... What? Another spire before the other one's even done. Is that where your money went? Is that legitimately where your money went? The 200... Yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of building a single high... Fuck. Well, there's a Goliath now. There was not a single anti-air unit. You actually spent... Oh, good. Thank you. He heard me. He heard me. That was... Thank you for that. A single Goliath. Watch out for those spider mines killing those mutalisks in a minute. Everything goes here. So, this is the slowest fucking push in the history of everything, right? So, I don't understand. Like, oh, I'm winning. Let's just leave half of my damage outside there. Thank you. Yep, bring it in. Plant it straight on the mine. Just go move on the mine. Oh, God. Oh, God, mutalisks. How could we have known... How could we have possibly known it's time to run away? Yes, kill that extractor. That's a good thing to do. Having this barracks float in for umpteen million years before he got killed. Um, yeah, so now, panic. Panic is, yeah. All, all the turrets, because of course we haven't built those yet. Um, reactionary play there. It's always good. Um... Bases, lots of bases here, actually. Yeah. Now, reeling from that loss of the natural. Oh god, it'll go range even. Now, here's the thing. In... Was it, like, 2000... Was it 2000 and... Fuck. Four or six Mutalisk Micro was it? I don't know. I think it was six. Mutalisk Micro was discovered. Um, yes, so le every, leave every time. Switch targets the moment... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good. Every time you damage a unit near death, you move to the next one. So that unit that is actually supposed to be dead can continue to damage your units. And then you fly back and have two Mutalisks that are literally a shot away from death. So... Now you got counted. And that is the time when you realize you were countered to commit all the units you have and die. He is really good at this. He is amazing. Nice pants, my friend. You are really good at... <laughs> at... Just leaving at the right time. A 3 HP Goliath in a storm of mutalisks is impressive. So what's the plan here? So this is lost, right? We have to give that to the opponent. We cannot rebuild this. The opponent has salted the earth. Impossible for Zerg to retake. Doesn't matter because there's two other bases that aren't being mined, right? So, all the effort is now, of course, let's try to be constructive here. Let's try to... There we go. Be constructive here. All, all the efforts are in the Mutalisks, right? They, don't worry about trying to group them with Overlords, right? Try not to think about that. 
Just let's go for damage, we have to damage. This is correct. Even though there are more drones, don't worry, most of them are not mining, you know. Uh, try, this is what I do, this is it, you know. There's so many Goliaths though. It's really not the time anymore. It wasn't the time like five minutes ago. And so all of these, all this effort in, in order to bring down the SCV count exactly to your drone count and basically still ramming home this now plus one attack upgraded army of just keep ramming it in, losing everything you have built. You have not the economy to sustain this because half the drones, again, aren't mining properly. Now they are, thankfully, right? Um, still a little bit here. And now the counter is going to come. Now, regular viewers will, of course, know what's about to happen. For those of you new to the channel, first of all, how the fuck did you get here? But this should be the end of the game, of course. It really, really should be. Because we have direct counters. The Goliaths... There are enough Goliaths here that they count as a dark counter to Mutalisks who are not using the magic box, so grouping an Overlord to stack them. That's Mutalisk micro basics. Um, this is not supposed to do anything. This is the way Mutalisks were used in 1998, okay? Group them and mash them and really not target anything. Just attack, move them, spread them out so they're attacking multiple targets. So they can't critically hit or one-shot um, anything. But still, there's a couple of Hydras here. And of course, only half the army is engaging, because this is important at this level. The Terran had superiority in every single way, but didn't bring half, half their forces into the fight. They were trickling in, um, which, you know, makes this a statistically impossible trade. Any sort of statistic, because it's really, as you will see, a break even. Because both armies literally cancel each other out. This is, again, a statistical impossibility. But it happened. You, you try not. Logic cannot be applied to games like this. Because these are players, they're basically trying. They, it's their first day of driving, and they got thrown into a Formula One car. There's going to be a lot of fire and a lot of tires everywhere, right? They, they do not have the capacity to drive this vehicle. The funny thing about StarCraft is nobody has. Even the professionals still don't have enough mechanical skill to do everything. Except for Flash, because he's an android and doesn't really live. Again... Now this is the point where the Zerg mine is locked in, right? There, there, nothing can happen. This base, it, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's never going to be there again. We've been here, okay? But this doesn't matter. We have Mutalisks. We have been building Mutalisks. We have not been upgrading Mutalisks, but we've been building Mutalisks. And so we have to try, because that's what everyone does. They do Mutalisk harassment. That's the only way you can do this. Even though a single Zergling could kill this entire fucking base. No, 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 no. We have the Mutalisks and have to make the Mutalisks, even though the direct counter is now d double attack uh, armor and attack upgraded. Finally seeing that Overlord there that's been there since the fucking start of the game that might actually further supply block him because he was already supply blocked even though he lost half of his army. I might have missed something. This Goliath has two kills. I don't know. So, meanwhile, now Overlords had been built, thankfully, already because he already supply blocked himself. He didn't need his opponent to do so. Uh, now there's going to be an attack to the top. Again, statistically, really... Don't see any of this living. But don't worry, more mutalisks are on the way. More hatcheries as well, because there's now somehow some kind of bank. Um, SCVs. Okay, so here's the fun thing. Our dear friend character R is going to have to think about actually expanding. I know, Terrans, I'm sorry. Sometimes you gotta expand. Uh, again, just throw them on there, right? Statistically, don't worry about it. And it's, again, probably going to be a break-even situation where no single target has been clicked, right? Just send them out there, park them, and just let them do their thing. 
No targeting whatsoever. This mutal is taken on these two. These guys are kind of... Uh, now they're going to retreat. No, 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 they're not. They're actually incidentally going to attack the same target. And gonna kill these exactly at the same time, maybe? I don't know. That one just exploded, probably because it is Hydra. Yeah, Hydra actually got two kills. I don't know. They're still sucking slow. They're... Please, for the love of anything, upgrade the Hydras once. This is the first thing you do. Actually, before you even build the Hydras, you build the attack upgrade, the speed upgrade, because they are absolute dog shit because of it. Good. So that's fine. I mean, this is important. These basics, like, what? Like, why? Why would you even ever you that the, the, that unit doesn't exist without that? Okay, this is an interesting push. There is micro here, right? Trying to get away. You know what? Just put down the command center anyway. In the midst of that, that is an impressive SEV. Somebody clip this, send it to Artosis, and look at that SEV in the midst of a fight. Under attack. And with Hydralisks blocking and its own units blocking, managing to put down a command center. That is impressive. And currently not being constructed because that SEV decided not to. Or probably died. That is, that is, that was impressive. That was, Im yeah. It just built the command center. And he's still, he's already mining. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is the typical scheduling conflict. Like, I'm sorry, but we're, we're, we've been told to mine here, but it isn't even done yet. They, they are, they've stopped construction. It's not even built yet. Why are you here? I'm sorry, we had a job. We're going to fucking mine the minerals. But you're going to have to... Yeah, sorry, dude. We'll talk to the supervisor. I mean, we're, I'm just doing my fucking job here, right? And this guy, yeah, we all know who this guy is. Just standing there, like, hey, nobody told me to do anything. There's a... It's right there. You know what? We'll get another guy to do it. No, 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 it's fine. All right. <sighs> all right. Missile turrets, always important. Ah, how we doing, huh? 22 minutes, more mutalisks. Thank you. See, if you tell them, they listen. You just have to be constructive. How, how am I, uh, how's my mining going, huh? Now, note that I casted a game of my own, where this was also the issue. I, I am angry out of love. It's the only no way I know how to express myself. All right, we actually have speed hydras now. And uh, they're going to encounter some shit. Here come the mutas. Straight in. Straight in. All right, giving the hydras ample opportunity to actually... Oh my god, so the hydras you target fire? The hydras you target fire. Are you some kind of mutalisk... Or hydro apologists, should I say? I'm not gonna use words here because I'm, we're we're on the internet and that's dangerous. Using words, dangerous. All right, that didn't work. I wonder why. It's because Terran Tasagi. This is still not complete. It's starting to annoy me incredibly. Um, but yes, commands in there got built. He's now going to counter. Um, Sadly, this is the production area of the Zerg. No, oh dear, that just fucking exploded. Alright, so here we go. Hydra's actually not too bad. Oh, here more. Just park some more mutalisks. Let's fucking park some mutalisks. It works! It works. Goliaths don't know what the fuck to do. It's like, oh, fuck, there's a mutalisk over here. Alright, so the Hydra's actually do a thing. Is there even an evolution chamber? Yes, of course. Uh, more mutalisks on the way, don't worry about that. I'm really curious. Uh, the one drone is now mining. God, the discrepancy. So, this is empty now. The, they're all probably going to go here. Oh, that... Did he manor pile on himself? Is that why this hasn't really been mined yet? Yeah, yeah. So this is a blocked off patch. He's going to have to burrow through this one. This SCV has been doing that for a while. Sorry that I didn't notice that. There was so much going on. This is also idle. Um, it's a mess, basically. So, all right. But he, don't worry. He's got the. He's got 
10,000 SEVs mining this area here, right? Yeah, uh, there's there's like, there's eight on this patch alone. So that's good, but he's gonna float. Oh, which reminds me, guys, sorry, I, in all of the confusion, He's building science vessels, hasn't actually built an academy yet, hasn't had comsats because there haven't been lurkers at all in 25 minutes. We're still at the mutilisk stage. I, sorry. Oh, he's thinking about retaking his natural. And also this base. He's taking the entire map. Oh, whoa, whoa. How did you get here? I, oh, you're expanding here. Okay, so that's why you have to be here with your entire army up a ramp against the Terran. That is good to know. That's a, a good tip for Zerg players. If you're new to the game, you don't really know what to do. The best thing to do is grab most of your supply, put them on a high ground with a single ramp. And then allow the, the Terran to just wall you off and leave you there. Because that's one thing Terran is very bad at, is at containing people with their mines, their siege tanks, and literally every piece of tech they have. Plus two attack upgrade. These tanks are now officially fun for Hyperlisks. A hive is coming. No upgrades though. More mutilisks on the way, I see. Still thinking about it. I mean, it's a little tight on the budget, right? Yeah, no, that's not going to be for now. Slow high, slow overlord still. That's also good to know. Um, but not surprising. A lair. Because, of course, once you go hive, you are unable to use any of the tech the lair provides. So you always have to have a backup. It's good to see that we have three more drones mining. There's a definite limit there to the bases. Still thinking about it? All right. So did they get scared? There's still zeros or mutilisks, by the way. It cannot be overstated how important upgrades are in this game. A plus one and a plus two here and there really make a difference because of the very precise and beautiful math behind the balancing of StarCraft, which is totally not a fluke from a company that hasn't known what to do in decades. See, again, oh, almost, almost managing to get out there, you know. But, but by, oh God, this is beautiful. He finally bunched them up, everyone. He finally figured it out. He finally clicked a single target. When Tasagi hits again and that fucking science vessel is there to irradiate. That is beautiful. He finally managed to get them together. He finally understood. And then the balance just kicks him in the balls. It, there's no winning. The, the overpowerness of Terran is... It is sickening that we have to watch it. I mean, I've always been against Protoss because they can just click and boom. You know? With a science vessel... At least in defense, you still have to click an actual target and not just an area. Yeah? But this it's disgusting nonetheless. I want to see this vessel. Where is it? Six kills on that one. One on that one. So seven mutilisks dead. Beautiful. Perfect. Well done. Don't worry. More on the way. There's currently no production. There's nothing being built. There we go. No, no, hatchery. Not this one. No, 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 no. Not this one. Where is it? Where is the hatchery? Come on. Where is oh, here we go. All right. Not the natural. We're keeping that one for later. Fuck. 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 Still on build. Still on fire. Oh, they burrowed through. They burrowed through, they killed the, the mineral patch, they finally, they can finally access it. That poor SCV is finally free. <laughs> this is a Terran natural in, at the 29th minute and it is not mined out. It's a little weird. God, there's a lot of bullshit here. I, he supply blocked himself. Okay, okay, we've got upgrade, we've got speed, 
We've got Adrenal Glands. Melee Attack. Greater Spire. Ooh. All right. We doing this. We doing this. There is an attack, a melee attack upgrade. I am so proud. 29 minutes in. All right, the file amount, yeah. Oh, consume even, wow. Okay, no locus though? Maybe locus, maybe locus. Oh, he doesn't have a fucking gas anymore now. If only there was a way to get more. Well, he's working on it, don't worry. Oh, 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 oh. Oh shit, the base got killed. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was so enamored by progress here. I mean, look at the, the beautiful spread here. I, I don't think I could do that even if I tried. It is quite majestic. All right, here we go. We're almost, yeah, we're at 3-3. Three, three. We, there's, there's a lot of damage being done here. And, uh, well, these tanks aren't siege, so don't worry about that. But it's going to get significantly more difficult. Considering there's now plus three and, uh... Actually, Arbor's not upgrading, okay. Oh. Overpoweredness coming along again. Yep. Join your brethren and die. Still, however... I don't understand how these trades are still working. I really don't. I really don't understand. It's 150 to 90, and still these fights, man. And that's the problem, though, right? Because you've got this is let let's let's look at the deterrent side of things, okay? He's in trouble. This is what he's mining. This is gone. He's got 600 in the bank. The standing army he has, that is it. This base got destroyed. It was actually quite important. It was barely even mined. He needs this because Zerg. Contrary to popular belief here, is now using the filers and has quite a few bases and quite a lot of income. The dude has styled so fucking hard on this Terran, he hasn't even retaken his natural. So now, this is the problem. These inexplicable trades that have happened have eroded the Terran to a point where very difficult decisions have to be made. He has to... Because this is the problem, right? You have to try. No, this this doesn't work, by the way. Dark Swarm, don't be under Dark Swarm. Don't be under Dark Swarm. You cannot kill this. These are immortal to your weapons. The Zerglings, however, do fine. He doesn't know. He doesn't understand. Dark Swarm, ranged attacks are nullified. 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 Okay, now they come out of the Dark Swarm. Problem solved. But now they are still a little bit in the Dark Swarm. They can shoot out the Dark Swarm. I know this is confusing. Run away. Just run the fuck away. No Terran except for the fucking Firebat and ACV can do damage. Run the fuck away. Tanks can do a little bit of splash. But that's it. Don't worry. He's presenting the Defilers. He's presenting the 2 or 3 HP Defiler. He really is. This one is 5 HP. Thank you. But here's the thing. This Dark Swarm is actually pretty good. Out of nowhere, suddenly... A glimmer of skill and then you can see that's why newbie games are so important you can actually see from all the failings the technical misunderstandings the horrendousness he knows how to use dark swarm he doesn't give a shit about mutalisks mutalisks don't work for this man it is dangerous work you will die but the filers fine with them fine fine with the defilers hardest unit to use in brood war arguably Second only to the probe. See? All right, so now pushing. Oh, suddenly ultralisks, right? They're slow. They're not upgraded. They're absolutely not upgraded. They're, they're, there's nothing here. But still, scary unit. And Goliaths don't really do that great against them. But still, you know, you can it radiates not going to do shit. So you can do that. You can focus these. But still, not mining. Mr. Character, you are floating a command center, but you are not using... Because he's focused on the battle. He doesn't have the APM. He simply doesn't. He simply does not have the self-awareness to do this. To prioritize not fucking dying because he's dry. Right? This is it. This is it. 
This, this <laughs> Hail Mary mineral field that was locked away for so many eons. It's finally coming into play. This is the only thing he has. Hello mines. Still has substantial supply over the Zerg. Really does. But now, suddenly, Nice Pants has come to life. All this haphazard bullshit. There you are. Character. Beaten into submission with a blunt force of, of a um, blunt force drama. Yes. Beaten his skull dented by a blunt object. That is what happened here. And a Zerg doing what they are. He's, he was going for drops, by the way. There we are. Venerable sacks. Was any sort of. I want to find a Hydra. Is there still a Hydra anywhere? Any who? Any ha? No. Oh, here we are. No. Nothing. That was beautiful. This is what Brood War is really like, everyone. This is Brood War. Don't be afraid to try it. You can be this person. <laughs> you can be this ridiculous toddler playing football for the first time and saying, oh, maybe one day. It's a beautiful experience and we toil together in obscurity thanks for watching now i have to there are two ultralisk caverns